Hey everyone, this is Steve from GamersNexus.net and today we are flashing BIOS using an ASUS Crosshair V or 5 formula board. Uh, this is similar to the, their Maximus series. This one's a bit older, it's 2011, but same overall function. We're using what is called Easy Flash to update BIOS. And updating BIOS or flashing firmware as it is also called is useful if you want to upgrade your BIOS to unlock new features. So historically this was used when the X3 series CPUs were out, Asus and other companies added uh, core unlocking with a BIOS update. So you could do that. You can also up update for RAID fixes and things along those lines. To do this with the Asus Easy, uh, Easy Flash utility, you just navigate over to the tool tab. And if you are wondering, yes, it is in fact calling you a tool and it even says be used to update BIOS. So we know exactly what it is doing in uh, plain English. Hit enter on the Easy Flash utility and that will open. Now one thing you need to know is before entering this, you need to download the BIOS update to a flash drive. Uh, some of the modern boards can update over the air or via wireless or wired functionality. This one only does it from a flash drive. So you download the update from ASUS's website to your flash device, uh, plug it in, boot to this, and then you can select the device and the correct .rom file for your update. One other item to note is that abrupt power loss can result in, uh, in bricking your board, as we call it, which means it is basically turned into a brick, except it's less useful than a brick. And some modern boards will have dual BIOS, meaning that you can fail once and you normally hit a switch and switch to your second BIOS chip. That way you're still good to go. So from this menu, uh, we will select the newest update, which is 1703. Up here you can see our current version, 1605. Hit enter. Do you want to read this file? Okay, hit enter. And it's going to sit there and update. If I hit enter instead of shift, it will update uh, and you'll get a, a progress bar once it starts. So now we can see it is processing. Once this is done, it'll pretty simply just uh, let you know that you need to reboot and your BIOS is updated. Check back to the YouTube channel for a similar video on MSIs, which is a bit more interesting because you can do this from, uh, from wireless functionality, like I mentioned. And I believe one of them allows you to do it through the hard drive. Uh, we will also be looking at ASRock in the next few days. So check the channel for that, and I will see you all next time. Peace.